We were out on the lake all night last night. The clouds parted. It was a very starry night. The moon rose about 3 a.m. And here it is, what a beautiful misty morning it is. With each visit to the lake, I anxiously look forward to seeing the young loons. We've nicknamed them Huey and Dewey. Huey being the juvenile that looks like it's the oldest, and Dewey being the younger one. Huey's feeding himself now. We see him diving. And Dewey is still clinging to the mother loon, asking for food, pecking her at the neck, and squealing. We can hear her squealing quite a bit. The adult male loon tends to be by himself to fish. I noticed that he likes to be like a decoy. He tries to lead you away from the mom and babies. feeds them. She's really feeding them a lot. This is September and, and the parents still feeding the chick to get them as fat as possible for migration. the heavy feeding. That's how good that mama loon is at catching minnows anytime they want. Again. Looking for mama. I want my fish. Here she comes. That's not me. That's the other one. Not mama. Oh, just fed him. That's funny, she fed the one that she's been working with, not the one that came up. We're not going to bother them long here. We're just going to take a few of the picks and then we're going to be on our way. Don't want to interrupt their feeding. on the back one, the one is back, compared to the one in the front now. Here's the back, the front, yeah, this one seems to be not as developed as that one. Well, here it is September the 8th, and one of the adult loons has left the lake. We assume that it's the adult male, and wonder if uh, he's flown off to a nearby lake to join up with other loons ready for migration. No. Yeah. I thought he was going to fall over. The more immature ones. Yeah. They're testing their wings and stuff, sketching and getting used to them. Isn't that neat?
Usually by about eight weeks, the young loons are feeding themselves, but it seems like Dewey here prefers to have his food brought to him. trip to go see how the loons are doing. As you can see it's almost six o'clock and we're ready to go. Time to get a move on down the road. Mama Loon looks like she's ready for a migration. Now she has her winter plumage of brown and white. She looks quite a bit different than she does in the summer with her classic black and white colors. Near the end of summer, loons will gather on many of Algonquin's larger lakes before they migrate. Adult loons will usually leave before the young loons do because the young loons may need more time to mature and get their flight feathers. Loons have been known to dive to depths of 70 meters and stay submerged for more than three minutes. But the average dive is less than five meters deep and 40 to 45 seconds long. By eight weeks of age, young loons are fully feathered and can search for food independently of their parents. September 24th, lovely afternoon, 
fall colors are just wonderful. Almost at their peak. Really nice. Should be a good afternoon. Each time we come to see the loons, it's like a new adventure. I'm always concerned about Dewey, whether he'll be ready to take flight in the migration. My research shows that um, loons are usually on their way migrating south by the middle of November, and it's already the end of September, and Dewey's still taking food from his mouth.